gradually as you enter into the silence within, you will come to know. It will come of its own accord. It will come from within you. But for this practice of silence is very necessary. Always feel the presence of the Guru by your side. The Guru is with you all the 24 hours of the day and night. Practice the presence of the Guru and you will come to know whether it is the mind talking or whether it is the heart asking you to do a particular thing. In a conflict, two people are needed. If you refuse to be part of a conflict, there will be no conflict at all. In an argument, at least two persons are needed. But if you refuse to argue, there will be no argument at all. Why is it that so many marriages are breaking today? Because one of the two does not remain quiet. If the husband is out to quarrel and the wife becomes quiet, gradually he will come to understand that what he is doing is not right. But the difficulty is that the moment the husband is out to quarrel, the wife says, what do you mean? And then the quarrel goes on. In a conflict you need two persons. If you refuse to have the conflict, there will be no conflict at all. But for this, tremendous mind control is needed. And it should be the purpose of true education to teach you how to control the mind. There was a woman there was a woman who came and complained to a holy man that my husband beats me. He used to beat her. She came and complained. The holy man said, you bring me a bottle of water, I shall uh, fill it with some vibrations, with some uh, uh, mantras, and then give it to you. So she brought a bottle of water and the holy man breathed into it some mantras and gave it to the wife. And the wife asked, how often should I give uh, water from this bottle to my husband? No, said the, wife, uh, the holy man, this bottle of water is not for your husband, it is for you. When your husband is out to quarrel, only hold the little of this water in your mouth. Don't swallow it, keep it in your mouth. The purpose was that if she kept it in the mouth, she wouldn't be able to speak at all. There would be no, uh, no two parties to the quarrel. Mostly, yes. There are exceptions, but very few. Otherwise, I think we should listen to our parents. For this one thing, it is due to my parents that I have been given this human body. Otherwise, I could have been born a goat, I could have been born a cow, I could have been born a dog, I could have been born a mosquito. But I have been given this human body because of my parents. They chose to give me this human body. It is through them that I have got this human body. Therefore I should feel eternally grateful to them. And in most cases, I must listen to them, I must obey them. There are exceptions. If your parents ask you 
to do something which is wrong, you must not do that. There are exceptions, but otherwise uh, we should listen to our parents. Just because they have given us this great thing. They asked Sri Shankaracharya, what are the three greatest blessings of life? And he said the very first greatest blessing of life is that we have got a human birth. Otherwise we could have been born as pigs, as wolves, as lambs, as cows. But we have got this human body from our parents. We should feel eternally grateful to them. up the task. You should say to yourself, I become angry over a little thing, I must not become angry. Lord, give me the strength and give me the wisdom not to be angry. Then too you will become angry, but then you put a fine on yourself. Every time that you become angry, you say, determine whatever amount you want, 10 paisa, 15 paisa, 25 paisa, 1 rupee, depending upon your financial status. Every time I become angry, I will put this fine on myself. Then at the end of the month, you total the number of times that you were angry. Say you were angry in that month for 150 times. Next month you will find that your uh, uh, total number will drop down say 225, the third month it may be only 100, it will go on dropping the number. You can do so through your own experience, but usually you may not get correct answers. If you judge yourself by your experiences, you cannot get the correct answers. Therefore you need somebody who is evolved spiritually, who is your spiritual elder, he may be able to guide you in regard to your strengths and your weaknesses. prasad that comes to you from God. Supposing God came and gave you this prasad, what would you do? It is God's prasad to you. You will accept it. And in the measure in which you accept it, you will find that there is something hidden in it which you really need. This is the glory, this is the greatness, this is the generosity of God. That is why the Holy Ones have told us that in all conditions and circumstances of life, in joy and sorrow, in praise and dispraise, in loss and gain, there is a meaning of mercy. Accept it and move forward.